It's Central Valley Business. I am your host, Steve Walling. My guests for this segment are Robert and Richard Robinson. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thank if you, you happen to catch when Robert or Richard was on, Robert <laughs> Richard was on earlier, you understand the comment I made at the beginning of the show. These gentlemen look a little bit alike because they happen to be twins, but that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about some photography stuff. Oh, it isn't? I thought it was. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> no, gentlemen, you had some, some film up here. Tell me about your photography work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we have a, a business uh, that we call the Robinson Twins, obviously yeah. named after us, and we do uh, video work and we do photography, uh, nature and outdoor recreation. Okay. Well, how how'd you get into this? Well, we've always had been interested in outdoor recreation, and this just seemed like a, a natural outgrowth. Okay. Gentlemen, did you grow up here locally in this area, or...? No, we grew up on Air Force bases. Did so you really? A lot of places. We yeah. actually were we were born at Castle Air Force Base. Oh well, that's so and wonderful. Just, and just knew as we were growing up that we we're going to end up the in California point, yeah. eventually. Yeah. So, we, so and we did. So from the time we were born, we uh, we were then moved to. Uh, the reason why we were in Castle Air Force Base is our dad was here for B fifty two flight training. Oh, okay. Then they sent us to Maine. Right. Then to Georgia. Then to Massachusetts. Then to Okinawa. And then to North Dakota. And then he retired and we came back to he California. He came back here. All right, where in this whole travel scenario did you two really pick up the, the photo bug? We, we went to, uh, when we lived in North Dakota, we took a trip to Yellowstone ah. in Grand Teton. And when you're seeing that, you just, you just have, have something that's, that, that's pretty awesome, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you have a business that's locally here? Yeah. Well, you, it's kind of split. He's, well, he's in Fresno in, and I'm in we, Sacramento. We went to college in Sacramento and I moved here afterwards oh, okay. and he's still in Sacramento. All right. So so we are Central Valley. You are Central Valley. Well, yay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, listen, um, you, you, then you don't actually have like a storefront office type no, of thing. It's no. an online thing. It's an online thing. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming if I go online and, and look you up, I can see examples of your work. Robinson, oh, yes. RobinsonTwins.com. Robinson? RobinsonTwins.com. Is that one of the pictures there, Bill? Yeah. Want to put that up there? Oh, yeah. Let me mention, talk yeah. about that one. Talk about that one, if you will. This one is from Glacier Point, which, of course, you can drive to, but uh, we've skied out to Glacier Point. It's closed during the winter. It's uh, 10 and a half miles to skiing it, and we've skied out there and camped in the snow. Oh. Which has the advantage of not having bugs to worry about. <laughs> yeah. <for laughs> or bears because they're asleep. Or tour buses. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tour buses, right. And uh, this picture um, is there's a classic Ansel Adams shot of the moon rising. Right. Half Dome. Yes, I'm familiar well, with I, that. I, 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 we've been to the top of Half Dome three times. And before you reach the, the climb to Half Dome, you go over what's called the Sub Dome, which is a smaller one to the left. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be ideal if I could get a shot of the moon rising in the notch between the sub dome and half dome. And I was just happened to be there. We were both in Awani yeah. Meadow and got that shot. Just, uh, just perfect what I, timing. Which brings up the, you know, a lot of people don't understand what it takes to get that shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You it know, takes I mean, it's persistent. It's too. not like you just go out there and set up and, I mean, it's time of year. It's, it's, it's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. right. Um, the, How does that work for you guys? There's, there's actually an app, uh, we were talking about smartphones, there's an app called TPE, and it shows you the called, position, which stands for it, the Photographer's Ephemeris. And what that lets you do is see where the positions of the sun and the moon will be at any time of the day for any date you choose. And that's... At any location. At any location, even. But, it, but isn't that cheating? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, did Ansel Adams have that's something? A that's, that's a tool. That's a tool. That's a tool. So yeah, okay. We planned out yeah. where to actually be standing right. for the moon to be in the position we wanted. Well, that's great. Okay, now let's get down to the business part of the business. Mm -hmm. you, you hire out, obviously. Uh, what type of events or, or things do you do, you do your, your work actually, for? Actually, um, I've done weddings, but that's not... Our main focus yeah. is the outdoor recreation. Okay, so it, and your outdoor stuff is then it's stuff that you do, you you produce, you frame, and you sell the, the images of. We have a, a blog. Yeah. Robinsontwins.blogspot.com, and you can actually make the purchase right online. Okay. And this and is our most popular it, one showing here. Throw that this one. This is a double moon bow. Ooh. A lot of people don't realize that the moon can create a rainbow effect, but you can't see the colors with your eyes. Oh, okay. Because the moon's light is too faint for it to excite the color receptors in your eyes. So you can't see the color, you just see an arc of white light. But, uh, and I just happened to be there at a time when there was a double moonbow happening. Cool. And you can tell it's taken at night too because if you look up in the sky you can see stars. 
Now, the reason why you can see colors in this is because with the camera, you can take a long enough exposure like that the seconds. colors then oh, do okay, come so through with enough, get, getting enough light gathered. Right. And on our, on our, we also have a, a store on Cafe Press, which is an online publisher. Okay. They, they make like mugs and right. mouse pads and things like that. So, so you can get our imagery on those kinds on, of items. On, on, on various items. And that yeah. double moonbow is our most popular, actually. And it, we just had two... Two uh, blanket throws sold in December. So the same cool. person bought two of them <laughs> with right. that image on it. Well, that's pretty exciting stuff, gentlemen. You're going to have to come back and we're going to have to talk about this more. I mean, I live up near there and, and all this, you know, the, the images and stuff mm -hmm. in the park, I just... Well, I've yeah. been there 120 times. Yeah, well, that's great. And since we grew up on Air Force Base, I meet people in Fresno occasionally who have never been to Yosemite. I'm like, what no, are you waiting that, for? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, listen. Richard. Robert. Yeah, Robinson Twins. Yes. <laughs> They got some great, great stuff. Uh, look for them online. We'll see you when we come back.